Maxam is pleased to help our customers follow best practices for sample integrity, safety and quality. We are committed to being your partner in science. By watching this video, you will learn how to complete a chain of custody, also known as a COC. The first question you may be asking is, what is a chain of custody and why is it so important? When used properly, the COC is a legal summary of the sampling job that is being submitted to Maxam in a particular cooler. The form is designed to accompany samples from the field to the laboratory. It is a written record of who took what samples when and where, including a specific location or site number. Maxam's sample reception team is responsible for reviewing the shipment, including the COC on arrival. In any project where the analysis may be challenged from a legal perspective, the COC must be used in conjunction with custody seals to track who relinquished the samples, when and to whom. The project cannot be considered legally defensible if analysis proceeds after a break in the chain of custody. In that situation, the job would not meet Maxam's fundamental laboratory acceptance guidelines. For example, for a job that requires a custody seal, if the custody seal is not intact, has not been signed or dated, or is completely missing when the cooler arrives at Maxam, we will issue a flag to notify our client that sample traceability has been compromised. A flag will also be issued if a job arrives at sample reception with no chain of custody, if the analysis requirements are not clearly documented, or if labels are missing or have incorrect sample IDs compared to what is on the COC. The client may decide to abort the project, incur resampling costs, or proceed with the analysis knowing their final report for this project will reflect the sample integrity flag. Other flags include situations where the COC is missing information or has not been signed and dated by the customer, or there are bottles in the shipment that are not listed on the COC. With these flags, the lab may be able to proceed, but in some cases, we still require confirmation in order to continue with the analysis. At Maxam Sample Reception and on our website, there are generic COCs available. In many cases, your project manager can also provide you with a pre-populated COC, also known as a pre-log COC. There are also certain types of analyses, such as drinking water testing, which have ministry-approved COC forms that must be used. Or your company may have a COC customized for your projects. Regardless of the specific layout, all COCs will have the following basic sections. When properly completed, the COC provides detailed instructions to the receiving laboratory, including what regulatory criteria apply, sample ID number, the date and time each sample was taken and from what matrix, what analyses are requested for each sample, how many containers are in the cooler, does this project require standard or rush turnaround time, what are the project details and who took the samples, who should receive the invoice and the report. Before you head into the field, you will ideally review the COC for the project and fill in whatever information you can. Take a moment to ensure you have exactly what you need. When you arrive at the field location, please prepare a clean, flat work area where you can safely unpack your bottle order. Make sure to count the sample containers and identify any quality control samples that are included in your bottle order. If you already have assigned sample IDs to the bottles, please make sure your COC matches the sample IDs. Fill in the remaining sections of the COC as you collect your samples. Don't forget to include field and trip blanks if you are using them. It is essential that every sample have an analysis specified. The total number of containers in the shipment must match what is on the COC. When you have cross-checked the COC and are confident that your project is complete, please sign, date and write down the time you are packing up the cooler. Then. Put the finished COC in its resealable bag, lay it on top of the final layer of bubble wrap and seal the cooler. If applicable, sign and date the custody seal 
and add a final layer of packing tape on top of the custody seal. Deliver or ship the samples to the appropriate Maxam laboratory. The COCs have a laboratory use only section, where sample reception records the temperature and the condition of the custody seal if used. The receiver will sign their name and record the date and time the cooler is opened. By taking the time to understand the chain of custody and fill it in completely, you will help to ensure sample traceability and the legal defensibility of your sampling project. If you have any questions, please contact your customer service representative at Maxam.